What is up everybody? Hungry Cabigon here. I have got some Sky Legend packs for you today. Very much liking this set. There's some very weird and wonderful cards in there. I uh, really like some of the full arts. They're really bizarre. Um, so yeah, that's cool. I kind of like something weird, you know. There's one in particular that I'm thinking of uh, where there's a very strange looking man on there. And uh, if you've seen my other videos, you'll know what I'm talking about because I pulled it. But uh, that is a weird card and I like it. So, yes, I'm hoping that we can see another full art or something today. But only 10 packs, just thought I'd scratch the itch a little bit. Oh, we do have something in this pack though. Might just be a hollow from the look of it, but it's hard to tell. It is, it's a frost lass hollow to start off with, so a good start. This was one of those things where I hate it, where they do this, where I got four packs from one box and then six from another because the box was finished. So I feel like that always hurts our chances of getting something, but there is something in this pack as well. So yes, that does annoy me when that happens, um, just because I would like to have them all from one box, just there's better chance of pulling anything, you know, but maybe we can get something good. Oh, that is good. We got the Lily Trainers Rare. The most expensive one. Uh, I saw this is about $10 at the moment, so very nice. Interesting artwork. Interesting style on there. Pretty cool. We know what Lily does. Still, it's A. Even though this is from the newest set, it's still going to rotate out because it's still in the A block. So when they have rotation coming up, no more Lily. No more turn one Lily. So there is a lot. There is a lot of stuff that's going to be gone. It is uh, actually crazy. So, okay, maybe our luck is not so bad today from the two split boxes, uh, from the split box. But still, I just feel like, you know, there's a trainer rare and there's a secret rare in every box. So, if you get stuff from two boxes, obviously you have more chance of getting, like, a random, randomly lucky getting two uh, of either of those. But, it's unlikely. Uh, but you reduce your chances of hitting anything because you might just get the duds from like each box. I don't know. Looks like we do have something in this pack though, so I'll shut up. What is it? Hey, it's a Zapdos and Articuno and Moltres. I have got uh, quite a few of these now. Not complaining. It's the best one to get. So very happy. Look at that artwork. Very cool. Nice. All right. So maybe this is not so bad. Um, like I said, there was four from one box. I don't know, they're mixed up, I guess. But that was four packs so far, and we already have three things. So I've got uh, a Trainer Rare, a GX, and a Hollow. So that's quite good. We'll see how the rest of the packs go. But... Got another Recycle Energy. It's the only Trainer we've seen so far. I think that's a good one to get. Didn't see the price of just the Uncommons and stuff yet, but I feel like that, that will be a one that will be played at least a bit. All right, so we had a few hollows and stuff in a row, and now we might be getting to a bit of a, a rough patch. There we go, we got the Normalium Z. It's usually one in every two, and it does seem to alternate, like, no hollow, hollow, no hollow, hollow, no hollow, hollow. I don't know if there's, like, a set pattern as such, but it definitely seems like, yeah, it's pretty, it's kind of, that's the way it goes. You generally will get one in every two. Oh, we got something in this pack as well. I can see something shiny at the back. What's it gonna be? It's just a hollow. Wah, wah. I think that we've done pretty good, to be honest, so far, but I'm still kind of greedy. I'm hoping for something more. I'd like to get another secret here. That would be great. But it would, you know, you can't go in every time. I would like to, but we, we can't. We got a Blizzard Town. Only two packs to go, man. This is going pretty quick. Alright. What are we talking here? Something shiny. Ugh. Magnazone, boo. 
So we've got our five. That might be it. Unless we get lucky in this last pack. We might be done. Oh, no. There is something shiny in this pack. All right. Let's see what it is. Oh, to be honest, this might be a secret rare. I think it might be. No, it was just a GX, but still, I thought I could see some texturing on the edge, but still, that's very good. That's very good. So the, uh, the split box for once treated us well. We got two GXs. I was kind of like, oh, cause I thought I could see the tag team symbol on the edge. And then I thought I could see texturing. So I was like, oh my gosh, it's going to be a full art tag team. But, uh, no, it wasn't, but still pretty good. Pretty good. We got the best GX. We got the weirdest, funniest GX. I don't know why they have that combination. I kind of thought they would have like a double executor tag team, if anything. Um, but still pretty good. The, the Lily is quite expensive. So that is a good hit to get. That's probably the best thing we got value wise. Let's have a quick look, see at what we got. We got a few hollows. One, two, three hollows. So actually we did better than par. We got uh, six shiny things. We got the Lily trainers rare. Very nice looking. I like that a lot. Very happy to get that. I think I've got three different trainers rares so far, so that's good. We got the uh, tag team of the Zapdos and Articuno and Moltres, very nice. And then we got the tag team Rowlet and Alolan Executor, which like I said, is just weird. I don't get it. Why? I feel like it's pretty good. I, unfortunately, it has fire weakness with, and like, I saw a recent tournament in Japan and the Reshiram Charizard tag team just killed it. I think they were so many of the top 64 were playing that and it did win the tournament. I don't think, yeah, this set hadn't come out yet, but this is pretty good, but it's got that fire weakness. That's really rough at the moment. And then you also got this, which is quite good as well as a tank, at least. I don't know if it's good for attacking or not with the, the weird energy requirement, but lightning weakness is really bad at the moment. So has fighting resistance, which is kind of interesting, but like lightning weakness is rough. If you've got all those Pikachu Zekroms and Zapdos decks and all that kind of stuff would just kill you. So, mm, I don't know. I'm not sure about this viability wise, this set, but very cool looking artworks. I, I'm very happy with them. So anyway, uh, that's it for now, guys. Let me know what you think of this new set. Check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.